Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create a statement of cash flows with QuickBooks Online. This tutorial is one of our 46 free QuickBooks Online tutorials that you can find by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online tutorials. So let's get started from our QuickBooks dashboard. So to create any report, we want to go to our left menu bar and click on Reports. We're looking for the statement of cash flow, which we can see I've already marked as a favorite, but let's scroll down and see where it's normally located, which is in the business overview section. And down here we have statement of cash flows. So this created a statement of cash flows for Paul's Plumbing. Uh, we can scroll up to see our basic options. This Paul's Plumbing is a sample company that has most of the transactions dated in 2024 so I'm going to change the dates here to reflect 2024. Anytime you change these options you have to click run report and there we go we have Paul's plumbing statement of cash flows for 2024. So the statement of cash flows is an important financial statement but it's also by far the hardest to understand. Um, Kind of explaining in depth the statement of cash flows is beyond this tutorial, beyond the purpose of this tutorial. So uh, let me just at least explain the three sections. We have operating activities, which in Paul's plumbing case did very good at actually operating activities provided $216,000 worth of cash flow. If this operating activities is negative, that means you lost cash on your operations, which is not something that can be sustained forever. So be wary if this number is negative. Investing activities includes both investing in traditional investment stocks and bonds, or could it be investing in equipment, which is the case in Paul's Plumbing, um, an investment of $2,500 in computer equipment. And the third section is your financing activities. Uh, so this is money invested by owners, invested by uh, bondholders, and money you pay out uh, to owners. So here we can see that we paid $135,000 to the owner. So those are your three basic sections. And then at the bottom of the balance sheet, it reconciles your beginning cash to your ending cash. So we had 77,000 at the beginning of the year. We had 80,000 of positive cash flow during the year to arrive at the cash at the end of the year of 157,000. So as impressive as, as, impressive as $80,000 is, the cash flow statement actually looks even more impressive because we generated 216,000 of cash flow from our operating activities and paid out 134,000 to our owner. Okay, so that's just a very brief overview. If you really want to understand the cash flow statement some more, you'll need to do uh, some study. And like I said, it's useful. The most useful thing is just to print it. Look at this operating activities. Make sure you're generating a positive cash flow from your operations. Okay, so other options we can use in our cash flow report. Um, we can display columns. Right now we just have one column for totals only. We can actually display it by any number of things. Uh, probably one of the most common is quarters. Click run report. And again, this is going to break our cash flow in to four quarters. And we can see we actually made positive cash flow in every quarter. Cash flow from operations. Okay, excellent. So. Uh, Fewer basic options than most reports, but we can still change the the period and then how we want that period split up onto the cash statement of cash flows. So other options we have, we can click customize so we can format our numbers here. We can format how we want negative numbers to appear. Um, rows and columns. Um, again, these are the these are actually also the general options we just addressed at the top of the screen. So we can divide columns into quarters. Um, we can filter the information so we could print cash flow just for particular customers, vendors, location, classes, and products and services. Location and class might be the most interesting. Of course, to be able to separate your cash flow statement by location and class, you'll have to be assigning a location and class to every transaction. So uh, in order to, to learn how to set up the location and class tracking in QuickBooks Online. Uh, I encourage you to Google Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online tutorials and some of our setup tutorials will actually show you how to create location and classes so that you can start tracking your activity. And then finally we have the header and footer so you can customize this uh, however you would like. So play with those options. Remember to hit run report when you're done so that you can see your updated report. Once you have the report exactly like you want it, um, you can click the envelope here to email it. This will email it as a PDF, 
or you can print it to your local printer or you can export it and if you export it you can either export it as an Excel file which would allow you to continue to modify it or you can export it as a PDF which would make it easier to share with people. Great and the final thing if you've customized your report and you know you're going to want to see this exact template in the future you can save the customization and we're going to call it, well, let's call this a quarterly cash flow. Okay, and let's just save it. Excellent. Now if we go to our reports, we can look in our custom reports and we have our quarterly cash flow. So we can click on that, brings it up just like we had formatted it. We don't have to go through and reformat it. So that's how you create a statement of cash flows in QuickBooks Online. I hope this was useful and that you have a great day. Thank you.